It's Mac the Guru. We back. About to get into this Jada Kiss vs. Fabulous. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like the video so um, more people can see it. Now, when we dealing with this versus, I'm about to break it down. Because my preview, my prediction, I said Fab was going to win because he was the bigger artist. And I get what's going on in the versus. I get it now. The biggest artist, the people with the bigger radio hits, same thing with Nelly and Ludacris. Nelly the bigger artist, hands down, it ain't even close. Same thing with Fab. Fab the bigger artist than Jada. Now Jada cold, but Fab just the bigger artist. He got bigger radio hits. Now, in this versus settings, that, sh that don't matter. They just want to hear the hardest street anthem, the hardest street record. And I think it's because a lot of people... It's a lot of people on the verses that's watching them, but it ain't like super, super mainstream where it's like they getting fans from, you know, they pass for, you know what I'm saying? Like, because these are older rappers. A lot of they fans might not even be on IG, and if they on IG, they might not, you know, they working. You see what I'm saying? They, because, you know, the thing is, when you young in hip hop, you got time to just listen to records and be there for everything. But when you get older, you working a job, you doing, you got kids, you got all this stuff. So, you know, the the mainstream probably not there. So it's just like like a lot of, you know, people that's really, really in tune with the culture. And when it's like that, they just going straight towards the, the street rec record. You know what I'm saying? But objectively, when I'm looking at songs, Fab didn't play his, he played some big songs, but he didn't play all of his big records because they they more like on the the um the R and B hip hop type vibe, the where they singing and rapping type vibe. You know what I'm saying? And Jada just got hard motherfucking street anthem. So he just coming with them. And you you heard in the battle, Jada like he trying to flip it up on every time Fab try to get into that bag of that them big records. He played trade it all. Jada came right back. He trying to he trying to flip it up on me. I'm we gonna stick to the strip. We gonna keep it for the street niggas. And he come back with his street record. You know what I'm saying? And Jada got more street records. So I I gave him the edge. But going into it, I'm like Fab got bigger records. But Fab couldn't play all his big records because in this versus format, they just looking for the more lyrical street records, man. That's what it is when they dealing with rappers. So if you a big rapper with like radio hits, I wouldn't do the verses. I wouldn't do it because it's very biased towards just street records because it's basically just the culture that's super, super in tune with hip hop. A lot of the mainstream fans that, that they, you know, that was with them during these times, not there, you know, so, but Shout out to Jada. He definitely held it down. He definitely came with the street records. He won. You know what I'm saying? But the versus is very, very biased. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know where they go from here. They talking uh, T.I. and Rick Ross. You know. The, which, that'd be good. The more they do it, the more people going to forget about who lost. So, whoever come next, people forget about the Jada and Fab. They just remember it's a celebration. But the verses is very, very biased. So, be careful, big artists. It's Mac the Guru. That was the recap, man. If y'all still here, make sure you click that subscribe button. Like the video. Peace.